Hello, everybody. Good morning. This is Everything Football, and I am Otis. I've got with me Kizzy and Chooks. This is our European Super League reaction video. So, Chooks, what is your analysis on this one? Okay, thank you, Otis. So, um, first of all, first of all, this European Super League we have been talking about, Iget, was first officially proposed as a seasonal football competition for mm. club teams in Europe. So, um, the the league, the league which was proposed is uh, is, so, is to include its four teams for men and uh, two teams for women. The league was like it was created by a a commercial enterprise called the European Super League Company. You get so these people their their main aim was to rival the Europa competition, that is the Europa UEFA Champions League, Europa Cup, Europa League, Conference League those tournaments so on how the team did now the forthcoming Europa super league first first of all like when it was first announced was april 2021 you get and it was this whole matter this whole matter now now 12 teams first start on. you get 12 teams first started all these old big when they ground now it's 12 teams that first started it and things are like real madrid barcelona identical madrid Manchester United, Man City, Liverpool, Arsenal, Chelsea, Tottenham, Juventus, AC Milan, Inter Milan. So originally these teams were like the first group. But due to say <laughs> opposition come, various group come say, "Now lie, you will not go do this to you. Fans, fans not agree. Some players not agree. Some managers don't say, "Now you, hmm, this is not go feel work." Or politicians them say, hmm, "Now lie, you, it this thing, you not go feel work. The tradition not go feel square." It again, and some other football clubs, mainly for England, to say, hmm, mbanu, hmm, this is not go feel work. So nine, most of those clubs, when when join the team, they come, they come relax, they come come on and say, okay, no wala, mona no verse, we know they do it again. So the main people when come carry the matter for head, it again, the main people when carry the matter for head now was Real Madrid and Barcelona. Now these people carry the matter for head from the beginning to the ending. So after much begin and wala, UEFA. And everybody after much big year and everything, now uh, they come go cut. Yeah, they are you get now they come carry the kids go cut. Say okay, uh, now they are power rich more go cut because the team the way the team come the FIFA not agree. They come the FIFA come the sanction clubs. Those some clubs when be like say Puma, say you get come the sanction them and some other stuff. So now now they come go cut now. And the after they come go cut now the. It can't be like say the can rule say that FIFA and UEFA must not interfere with the development of the European Super League. It gets so on the 21 20, 21st of December 2023, which is this year, this December, it gets a final decision by the European Cup of Justice stated that FIFA UEFA rules that ban the, the rules that ban club from joining uh, the the rival competition which is the Europa Super League so uh, was unlawful say they don't get right to do that kind of thing he get so now after all the old stuff after FIFA has ruled everything out now they they now like adjust the their whole uh, the way they actually talk to the one player so I bet Kizzy if you just help me clear them how they used to adjust them so say how they want to play the team now the plan is for 64 teams for the male league and um 32 teams for the female league so um for the male league it's going to be split into three leagues the first league is going to be called the star league the second league being the gold and the third the blue league so for the female league of um 32 players it's been split into two leagues which is the star and the gold that's two leagues so now for this is for the men 64 men league which is which is being split into three different leagues for the male team so now you're going to have the star the gold and the blue the star will contain 16 teams the gold will contain 16 teams then the blue will contain 32 teams so for the star league they will be split into two groups of eight which is eight and eight 16. for the blue for the gold the same thing eight and eight two groups 16. then for the um for the for the blue now 
to be split into four groups of eight, which is eight, eight, sixteen, eight, eight, sixteen. That's four groups. So now, on how they are going to play, they are, they are going to play in midweek. So all the teams in in the Star League, that is the two groups in the Star League, just like the Group A in Star League. Let me let me let me call them Group A. So the Group A in Star League is containing eight teams. Eight of them will play themselves, which is seven home match and seven eight, some seven home matches and seven away matches, which is which is um, fourteen matches altogether for both yeah for both the Star League and the Gold the same thing. Then for the um, for the other one, which is for which is thirty two altogether, which is four groups of eight, they are also going to play themselves the same thing, seven matches each, which is fourteen matches altogether. So in terms of who is going to qualify and who is going to go back to the lower division, now it's there are going to be two stages, which is the league stage and the knockout stage. So the league stage is what I just said of seven match home, seven match, which is fourteen matches. So now, after everything, now they will not come back to to form a normal league of um, of sixteen teams in the Star League. You know, it's going to end in each group. So group A are going to have four people that is going to be um going to the knockout stage. So at the end of the group, after playing this, after playing the 14 matches, the top four of group A in Star League, you understand, we qualify for knockout. The top four for group B in Star League we qualify for knockout of Star League. Because you you're not you're not going to play the next league, no. The Star League will play Star League. The gold league will play gold league. Then the blue league will play blue league. So now anybody that went, so now the the four, the top four in the group A of Star League, will qualify. You understand? The top four in the group B of Star League will qualify. So they will not play quarterfinals, the semifinals, and the final. The quarterfinal will be both legs, normal home and away. Semifinal the same thing, home and away. Then finals one neutral ground game. So now it's the same thing that is going to be applicable to the gold league. The same thing of top four in group A of gold league and top four in group b of gold league will qualify for the knockout of quarterfinals to so semi-finals and finals then for group then for uh, for blue league there are going to be um four groups right like i said so now guys group a group b group c and group d so the top two the top two in group a the top yeah the top two in group a will qualify the top two in group b will qualify because it has to be eight teams to make a quarter final so the top two in group b will qualify the top two in group c will qualify and the top two in group d will qualify so altogether there are eight teams now to contest for you for the trophy that's quarter final semi-finals and finals so now at the end now the team that would the um and the team that wins any of the final wins the league so the team that win the finals of the star wins the league the team that wins the finals of um gold wins the league the teams that win the, the finals of um of blue wins the league the same thing happens with the field. for the relegation now the last two bottom teams okay now you know i said star leagues there are two groups right the group a and the group b so the team that finish the bottom in group a will go to and the team that finish bottom in group b they will both be relegated from the star league to the blue league then for the blue league to the same thing the team that finished um the team that finished um the last in group a for the gold league and it and the team that finished last in group b of the gold league they will both be relegated to the blue league do you understand and then they said that for the blue league there are 32 teams in the blue league which is the last division this is the blue league yeah that's the last division so now in that blue league now at the end of each um at the end of each session like one complete season 20 teams will go back and, and they will be replaced by a new 20 teams do you understand so it means 20 teams will be relegated out of the blue league and will be replaced by new set of 20 teams so that's the plan for the super league All right, despite all these developments, information reaching everything football is that some clubs have rejected the European Super League. And a few of those clubs are Manchester United, Sevilla, Bayern Munich, 
Valencia, Atletico Madrid, Monaco, Girona, Real Sociedad, Inter Milan, Feyenoord, a lot of clubs have rejected this. And information reaching us as well is that the entire English Premier League has rejected the Super League. So, Kizzy, what do you think is the goal of the Super League? Do you see it as an enterprise to make money for a specific group of people? Um, I see that Super League as, um, as a, a, an avenue to spoil football and to push out the Champions League in the sense that as, as a Mayu fan now, the only thing I'm looking for right now, like the ultimate thing as a Mayu fan now is, to, is for me to play an European competition whereby I'm going to face a team like Juventus, La, um, Barcelona, you know, Inter Milan and all those people, Real Madrid. But now, these people now are making it look so jovial that I can just play Real Madrid any time in the league. You understand? So there's no joy of the Champions League, which means the Champions League is being eradicated indirectly. Because the fact that the fun of me trying to struggle to get top four so that I can now play in an European league to play against an European team that is not in the Premier League, that's the joy. But now I can just wake up one morning and play Real Madrid on Wednesday. You understand? Imagine. I'm playing. So there's no joy. I don't have to, because right now they said that they are 16, they are 16 teams now that can never leave that league. Which means Mayu will just be there forever. Because I know Mayu must be there among those teams that cannot leave. Spoil the f- football does spoil with that. So football does every spoil. Tuesday I can just wake up, come on, Barcelona, I'm playing you. Let's trash Baka. Let me go and trash the next team. Let me go and trash the next team. Trash them, just like that. There's no more fun of, of me playing in European, European competition again. Because I have it already in my finger anytime I want. So... Champions League, the joy of Champions League is being... That phone, that phone, that phone is gone. All right, my people, we've come to the conclusion of this video. And uh, our conclusion is that it is all about money. So you tell us in the comment section what you think about the European Super League. You drop a like on this video, share our video, subscribe to our channel. The link to our other social media handles are in the description below. We'll see you next time.